What's up everybody? As the thumbnail suggested, I'm going to be taking a look at Sasuke today. Let's get into it! Here he is. About time I got around to this. So I've had this for a few months now, I believe. Might be a few months. I think it has been a few months. And yeah, I just need to get around to opening these really. They're all sitting there. And then all I can do is just keep looking at them thinking, I need to make a video about this so I can actually get this thing open. And finally, the day has arrived. So that was a quick look at the box. Right, let's open him up then. Slides out. Now, I've come to realize that the Naruto line comes with the instructions on paper still. So unlike some of the Dragon Ball figures who seem to have it on some of the inside parts, Naruto, they're still giving you these paper ones. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But let's get rid of this box. Gone into the ether. Let's move out of the way for a second. Oh, oh, saw something under there. And let's just take a quick look at this. So, what this tells us straight away is we've got one, two, three, four, five, well, five pairs of hands, plus two random ones at the end. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, I believe that's five, is that the same one? Yeah, it's two different ones. So yeah, five interchangeable heads or face plates. A uh, kunai, which like the Naruto one. Oh, where am I going with that? Let's bring it back into the shot, shall we? So like the Naruto one, as I was saying, it literally just top pops off by the looks of it, and it goes into his holding hand. And on the back, ooh, we have got, oh, that's probably what I've just seen, the Fuma Shuriken. And that must be what that specific hand is for, because looking at that, it says, oh, I and J. Nope, completely wrong. I and J are these this pair of hands. No idea what that's for yet. And we have got a uh, Chidori effect apart again. That's cool. So, oh right, so the hand. Oh no, the hand comes off by the looks of it, and it plugs into that. So I don't think you need the hand to plug it in. Huh? Oh, and then we get an effect part with a. Stand and a prop. Okay. Did I completely just... I think I just completely missed all of that on the back of the box. Um, oh no, looking at the back of the box, you don't actually see the stand. You just see the effect. So I did not miss anything. But that is cool. All right, so we've got some stuff to look at. Let's have a look. And here's Sasuke then. So I've kept the instructions close at hand this time. So I can, in fact, refer back to them if need be. So let's just put that out of the way for now. And let's just get him straight out. Move this off to one side. And let's have a look at our boy Sasuke then. Uh, let's get rid of this. Oh, yeah, gone, be gone. And let's just get some, ooh, ooh, yeah. He's got some sass already, look at that. Ain't no way, huh? -uh. Damn, Sasuke. Oh, his head's coming apart. Oh, that's scary. His face is detaching. Let's stop doing that. Um, yeah, so first impressions. Yeah, we have a look. Is there any... Oh, there's more, more stuff to remove. Let's see if there's any glaring issues to begin with. I'm hoping not because, you know, it's Bandai. Figure arts. The majority of the time, I want to say 90% because after that uh, Naruto one where his foot popped off almost immediately, um, you know, I'm a bit concerned, but majority of the time, they're all right. So, paint-wise, let's do my favourite part. Oh, yeah, there we go, I've done it again, I've done it again. So it's not, it's not just Naruto, I think it's just me. I've broken his foot off, but it's only because I wanted to have a look at his toesies. Look at them. Yeah, let's just check the paint app on the toes. I don't know why I'm obsessed with this. If you have seen any of the other ones, I do apologise if you are watching these. And you're fed up with me looking at the toe paint app but I like to just look at it because if you've not seen one of my previous videos what I go on about is the fact they just look like dead toes because they've obviously painted the flesh colour over the blue plastic 
but they're only giving it one or two coatings and you can kind of see the blue coming through still a bit so it's kind of like the toes are just like dead and it looks a bit horrible <laughs> <They're> kind of, <laughs> yeah that's about something yeah that's about it really that's all it is um but everything else paint wise yeah i think it looked great to start with i mean there's no glaring issues like i said everything looks fine i mean let's just take a quick close look at the head that it comes attached with and again the faces they always get these right i think there's something about the application of the faces i just i think that's i don't know is that kind of like what makes it sometimes it's just how they've nailed the likeness from the anime and the manga and stuff it just yeah something about it anyway so yeah that's looking good so far so we'll come back to him let's take a quick look at everything else he comes with Sasti comes with one two three and four extra face plates he also comes with one two three four extra pairs of hands plus one random hand and his effect slash jutsu hand combination which is two hands together. What else he comes with then? He comes with one effect piece, two effect pieces, a shuriken, a kunai, and the, the uh, display stand. I don't know why I struggled to say that then. The, 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 the display stand, sorry, yeah. Had a bit of an issue then. The display stand. He comes with the, uh, a display stand. I'm doing it again. Anyway, that's all the accessories. Let's get them out of the way and let's start playing around with them then, shall we? Okay, so we're going to start with the face plates. So let's see how easy these are. So you have to, for this one, remove the head. You can lay that. Remove the face plate. Put it to one side. Grab another one. Plug it back in. And yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. Simple as. So there's that face plate. So that's him uh, doing his fire effect. Uh, the name escapes me. You know what I mean. You can tell. If you know Naruto and you know Sasuke, you know what he's doing there. Here's this one. He's got the Shadowgun eye going on. So again, uh, just simple as. Plugs in. And he's got the kind of cocky, determined, smirky face. And last but not least, he has got my favourite face, which is... Well, he doesn't look so surprised in this. The eyes make it look surprised, but his mouthpiece and everything, he just looks angry, doesn't he? So it's not quite surprised or shocked like the other characters who have these face plates. He just looks a bit like, uh, are you serious, really? Kind of in disbelief. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, oh my God. But I do like that still. I'm glad he's come with this one. The other uh, Sasuke did not come with one of these face plates, which I was sad about. So I'm pretty, pretty chuffed that he's come with this one. Let's take a look at the hands then. So he's got these grrr hands, tiger hands, which uh, popped on fairly easily. It's a little bit of back and forth trying to get these on those little ball joints. Um, but you get there in the end. If you use the figure arts, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you can come with these two sort of claw hands and you've got a pair of them. So not much else to say on that, as you can see. They just, uh, oh, actually, yeah, it just looks like he's about ready to attack, claw your face off. Now he's got these two, what I thought were relaxed hands, but if you put them down at the side, they look too much in like a pose to be relaxed. If you kind of catch what I'm going for. It's like, well, yeah, what am I trying to say? It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like he's, um, what is it for? What am I missing here? I'm trying to try and look at the back of the box. There's obviously something he's doing. I can't think, it's not triggering any memories for me. I'm sure as I'm talking through this, while I found a pose, I'll edit in, in posing with them. I'm sure something will come up and I'll have a, an epiphany or maybe even research it before this comes out so I can edit in a little picture of him or a little still of him posed. Anyway, that's enough blabbering about this pair of fans. Let's have a look at some of the others. On these ones then, I have put one of each of two different pairs of hands on because obviously they're the same. 
but they're the holding hands. So you can't hold both things at once. So I've got the kunai hand on the right. So it's got just basically a holding hand with the hole through it. So almost like a full fist. And then there's shuriken holding hand on the other side. So live demonstration, let's have a go. So according to the instructions, he should, oh, let's just double check. So that, if I can do this correctly, why is it not making sense to my head? He should just, oh, because I'm holding it too far at the back. Should he be holding it? Okay, so it says, right. Um, I'll come back one second. Future Creek star here. Uh, so apparently I never actually came back with some footage of him holding it once I actually got him to do it. So enjoy a couple of still images from the promotional material of him holding his shuriken. Uh, I'm starting to believe I actually lost uh, a little bit more footage than I realized because the next piece I've got is me trying to attach the Chidori effect to him. So we'll just jump straight back in with me trying to fiddle around getting this effect piece to attach to him. Instructions time. So according to this, the hand comes off. Chidori effect pops on to the stump. But I am stumped. Aha, and how to get it actually on. Oh, no, wait, there we go. Oh, no, ah, and it pops off just as easily as it went on just then. Ah, oh, God. Right, be careful. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, I don't know if there's a certain way it goes on. I'm just not... Okay, well, I think that's it. So that's that's on, but I'm scared to now move it because it popped off so easily. Yeah, that just comes off quite easily. So I'm not sure if I've done that right. So I'll have to look into that a bit more. But from the way it describes it, that is how it works. It plugs onto the um, arm, the wrist peg, and then it should, you know, you can pose it from there. But shall we have a look at how Sasuke moves then? So let's see what articulation is in here. Um, I mean, I'm sure we can all have a guess if we're used to Tamashii Nations. But let's have a look at it anyway. So we we'll start with the feet. He's got his toes. And he's got his ankle swivel side to side. I think there's a little bit extra there. And obviously that little ball joint that pops off. Moves around. Has he got... So he's got nothing just above here, not like Naruto had. So his first next piece is up inside the shorts here, where if you hold that piece still, that leg just does turn slightly. It doesn't go all the way around. I think it's hitting the inside of these shorts. These shorts, they look like they're just a piece of plastic, I think, over the joint. So all they're doing is hiding the joint quite nicely. Um, so they just sit there loosely, I believe, and they turn with it. So the joint obviously in here, so that, hang on, I can't tell if, I think it might actually be all one joint. No, it is two joints, I think. So you've got a joint here, and if I can hold that, so you've got that joint just above the knee. So there are two different joints there, I think. Yeah, I think I'm quite confident in saying that. But did his shorts hinder his knees? Not really. I don't know if he can turn them. Oh yeah, you can kind of turn them actually, so yeah. I think you can move them around so you get a better uh, bend in the knee if you want to. Um, but how far out? So he goes... Oh, that's as far as he goes upwards with his leg and backwards. Like Naruto, he's hindered by his bum. So it stops about... Oh, oh I've only just realised. That's actually soft. So that's squidgy. All ah, right, so you're not going to snap that or anything if you get a bit too frisky with the movement. That's actually a soft plastic. That's cool. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, and same, is that the same again on this side? Yeah, that squidges as well. So they're both soft plastic. Don't know about that pouch. But how far is he going splits wise? Oh, he's nearly all the way there. Oh, no, he is. He's all the way there. Damn, Sasuke. 
That's some good splittage. But yeah, so he's got the splittage on. Um, around the back then, let's see if this pops off. And it does. Oh, that felt soft as well, but I don't think it is. I can't tell. So you've got this, oh, I'm not sure if that's removable, but if you didn't want the pouch on him, you've literally got this weird peg poking out the back of him. Um, I'm sure with some force that would probably come away, but that literally just pops back on. Then this is soft as well. So this bit that's hiding the uh, ab crunch underneath. I mean, speaking of ab crunch, I mean, that's what you're getting out of it. And then backwards, you know, not much going on there, but they've used the soft plastic, which now I'm looking at it, you can actually see the difference in color, can't you? Oh, oh that's annoyed me now. I never noticed that to start with, unless it's just lighting, I'm looking at it under. It does look like that's a bit lighter and that might be a bit darker, but I'll have to check it again at some point, I think. Yeah, there is a difference, but it is a soft plastic and underneath, you can kind of see the joint, I think. Yeah, the ab joint in there. Um, and obviously, you know, it's flesh colored, which is cool. So if it does come up with, you know, the bother to put a flesh piece underneath to make it look a bit more realistic, I suppose. Um, but that means this here then, this is solid plastic. So that is where the joint is, I think, and just under here. And this, this is plastic as well. So that's not soft at all. So that moves around so he can move his, oh, he's got good movement on his neck. Oh yeah, so you can go side to side, um, but you can look down. I oh, know it can, it's not too bad actually. I thought it was gonna be worse for some reason. So you can sort of look up and you can look down. They've done it quite well there. So the, they've done it in the way we have that piece of hair underneath that's permanently attached. And then the, the head that you take off to change all the face plates you know, has the extra bit of rubber hair that sits on top. So it doesn't break it up too much. So when you are looking down, you've still got that piece of hair, which keeps it all together, which is, you know, cool way of doing it. So that's actually better than I thought. And, oh no, all way up. Has he got that, oh, was it the other Sasuke that had that problem? If you turned it too much to one side, his face popped off, but his chin is catching slightly on that. If you turn it up, and around it's not too bad but yeah you can kind of turn it sideways but it does seem like it might be popping off I can't tell if that's and then for the arms then so you've got I think it's just I can't tell is that just a ball joint in there um, I think it might be but you've got like oh, oh no you haven't I don't know what have I done to him all right okay so it's oh oh there we go now we're getting some uh, some detail. So that's all come out of there. I don't know if that's meant to come out like that, but I can't really tell what's going on there. So let's just try and get that back in there. Um, so at the wrists, you know, full rotation of the wrists, up and down, the usual gimmicks. And then you don't get your next piece until just at the end of this T-shirt there. So just where the elbows are, you've got another rotation and you've got your, your double elbows, although he can flex, yeah, he can flex on, get his flex on, and then drop it back down. So I'm a bit worried now about moving, let's try this one. So you can get all the way up, and it can go all the way back like that, but it won't go all the way round. It feels a bit tight and I'm scared of moving it now, just in case, what have I done to this one? Oh, I don't know if that's me or it's just the way it's sitting. I might have to rotate it all back into place. I've probably done something messy. Oh. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like that's the same as... Oh, what have I done? Oh, wow. Oh, they're fiddling around. This is soft plastic as well. Huh. Right then, let's see how tall Sasuke is. So, our boy Sasuke is... That's about five and a half inches, I would say. From, yeah, top of the head, because he hasn't got any hair poking out the top or anything really like that. So from feet to head or to hair, yeah, five and a half inches. So what does that mean? So in context then, that means 
this is how he looks next to the current line of Naruto figure arts, or the ones I have on display so far. And here's just a full shot of all of them together. Here's how he looks next to his older self. So as you can see, he doesn't really get much taller as he gets older. He kind of stays the same. Here he is next to Goku Super Saiyan 4 from the Figure Arts range and Hasbro's Lightning Collection White Ranger. And lastly, here he is next to Bring Arts Cloud Strife and Figma's Saitama from One Punch Man. Right then, shall we wrap this up? So in conclusion, I think Sasuke is a great figure. Um, I've been, not been let down so far with the Naruto line and think, yeah, he holds up. I mean, everything looks great. Paint applications, fine. You know, the aesthetic is great. He looks just like he should do. Articulation is fine. Uh, I mean, glaring issues. I mean, I had that one issue with the shoulder, but, you know, it just sort of popped in. It's like a, a dislocated shoulder or something, you know. You just wiggle it a bit and pop it back in. Everything was fine, so nothing broke. Uh, I just probably got a bit overzealous with the old uh, shoulders and whatnot. Uh, only one problem I did have was the uh, Chidori effect. As you saw, it didn't really go on very well. And upon closer inspection, um, there wasn't a hole in the effect piece for the uh, arm to plug into. So I don't know if that's just, uh, that's probably by accident. Maybe it formed and molded that way. And all I had to do was just quickly grab my manual drill and just drill a hole out really and uh, yeah I just did that once or twice with two different sizes until I got the right one and after that no problems it went on and it was fine and the only other issue I had was just getting him to hold that shuriken but I think that was just me being a bit of a fool you know it wasn't too bad in the end I got him to hold it fine and yeah it's one of them that you move it it will fall out so it's a bit temperamental but it does hold it so it all worked out in the end so let's end it there then um, I'm looking forward to the next one. I've got Orochimaru ready to go at some point and I can't wait. I'm really enjoying these Naruto figures. They're really good. So I can't wait to get some more. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching guys. Hopefully you'll come back for some more sometime. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.